You've been given these dilators because you've recently undergone radiotherapy in your pelvic area. One of the side effects of this type of radiotherapy can be the formation of scar tissue in your vagina, making it become narrower and shorter. This is known as vaginal stenosis and can lead to discomfort during vaginal examinations, some types of further treatment and sexual intercourse. This pack contains a set of amyl dilators which have been specially designed to help reduce vaginal stenosis. You've been given either amyl care or amyl comfort dilators depending on where exactly you've had your radiotherapy. The two sets look very different. Amiel Care Dilators have a flat top to reach up to your cervix. These are usually given if you've had radiotherapy that affects the upper part of your vagina. Amiel Comfort Dilators will usually be given if you've had radiotherapy that affects the lower part of your vagina. The curved top of this dilator is more appropriate when the scarring is lower down as it does not need to reach all the way to the top of your vagina. Amiel Care Dilators come in four graduated sizes and Amiel Comfort Dilators come in five graduated sizes. Both have an attachable handle for ease of use. When using your dilators for the first time, wash them in hot soapy water and dry thoroughly, making sure all traces of soap have been removed. Use the dilators in a room where you feel comfortable and won't be disturbed. Starting with the smallest dilator, attach the grey handle using the twist and lock action. To make the insertion of the dilator more comfortable, always use a lubricant. Spread the lubricant around the tip of the dilator and also apply a small amount to the opening of your vagina. Find a position you feel comfortable with. Either lie flat on your back with your knees bent and legs slightly apart, or stand with one leg raised on a chair. Ease the dilator gently into your vagina as deeply as is comfortable, applying slight pressure but not force. Once the dilator is inside the vagina, move the dilator in a forward and backward motion then in a left to right motion. If possible, also gently rotate the dilator using the handle. This should last 5 to 10 minutes. The dilator should be removed slowly and gently. If you can, rotate the dilator in a clockwise or anti-clockwise movement as it's removed. If you're not able to do this, just remove the dilator slowly. When you feel comfortable with using the smallest dilator, gradually move to the next size and so on. These steps should be repeated three to four times a week for as long as recommended by your healthcare professional. The alternative position is standing with one leg firmly on the ground and the other leg slightly bent, supported on the bed or on a chair. Gently insert the dilator and repeat as before. Amiel Care or Amiel Comfort Dilators should be washed after every use. Clean the dilators in hot soapy water and dry thoroughly before putting them away in the carry bag. Make sure that all traces of soap are removed to avoid irritation. Remember to wash the dilator handle if it's been used. Always make sure the dilators are dry inside and out before returning them to the bag for storage. These instructions are intended as a guide and should be used together with the advice given to you by your healthcare professional. Ask your healthcare professional about what to expect when using your dilators.